Arizona Science Center celebrating March Madness with a closer look at the science of basketball. Basketball. Yes. There's a science to it. Oh, there's tons of science. Right? There's engineering, material science, physics, and math. It's amazing. And even though my teams aren't in it, I get to watch all the science happen. Live. I'm going to have to say go Loyola, Chicago all the way. Oh, all right. Then even uh, though I went to DePaul. You went to DePaul? I'm going to root for Loyola. Uh, ASU and Syracuse, so both my alma maters are out. Okay. So, so you can root yeah. for Loyola with me. I will. I'm okay. there with you. Fantastic. you got an extra fan. So what are we talking about specifically? So starting with the material science in the basketball, go ahead and pick that one up. This one. Yep. What do you notice about the ball? It's very hard. It is very hard. And? Oh, that one's oh, I cheated. Yeah, I, I cheated. Know. We'll get to the others there, too. Uh, well, the, the texture it's of textured. the ball. Yep, so. And then, of course, the lines. And the lines. Okay. So all of that is really intentional. Um, so the ball's a sphere. The texture is to keep the grip. It adds friction. Okay. Um, so this is called pebbling. Um, and there's a certain number of pebbles that make it an even higher quality ball. These are just street balls and play okay. balls. But, but the actual pro, pro balls, balls are even better. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And okay. what's inside the ball? You said it was hard. Air. Air, mm -hmm. yes. So go ahead and pick up this back one. This would be the... Div oh! Yeah. You yep. got me. You I did. Got I got gotcha. you. We went ahead and cut it open okay. because if you don't believe us that it's just air inside. It is. Is this what you expected? Yeah. Yeah. It okay. is. I thought it would be thicker on the edges because it is so hard. A basketball is so hard. I thought the edges would be thicker. Mm -hmm. uh, but it starts as this black rubber balloon and then gets wrapped in uh, fabric string to reinforce it and then on the outside wrapped in either a rubber or those pro balls we mentioned are wrapped in leather. But look at how much science goes into that though really because the these strings are so strategically placed. Y yes it's just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped to reinforce and look how thin that original bladder is too I mean it's just a, a it really thin, is a rubber, yeah just a little balloon so lots of science right there mm -hmm. but it's really important again you said go ahead and give it a bounce Right. The more air, the better it bounces. The more air, the better it bounces. Okay. So the air is really important because it pushes uh, against the outside walls. And when you dribble like that, the ground's pushing back at the ball and putting it back up into your hands. How do they so get it to dribble really high when they dribble. run? <laughs> I mean, you have to put more force into it. But here, let's pass. Let's okay. see if we can catch it at the same time. Go same ahead. time? Yep. Okay, Go ready? Ahead. Yep. Okay. Oh, nicely done. So that was math right there. The angle in is the angle out. And that's what I was looking to see which way you were going because I thought the balls would hit. So think of all the math that's going on with uh, a full team at right. the same time looking at angles. And they might not be thinking about the math, but they're doing the math and watching okay. it in action. So let's try it up here on the backboard too. Go ahead and just set it down. I thought you were going to let me do the full size ball with that. Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't quite fit. But oh, And uh, really quickly, the let's uh, do a showcase of one that doesn't have a lot of air in okay. it too before we do that. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and try to dribble that one. Well, you it doesn't go anywhere, so there's not enough force. Okay. But if you've got one that's nicely inflated, um, you can pass, you can shoot, and let's see if oh, nicely gosh, done. I suck. Hey, but you got it all the way to the backboard, and that's something that's really <gasps> important. Is try go ahead and keep trying. Um, oh, nice, and get a swish. Is it cheating when I'm using one hand and step up close to it? No, that's all right. We've got a very informal setup here. But um, I noticed that you're not even using the backboard, and statistically, you're more likely to get in if you do use the backboard, but you're doing awesome. I'm aiming for the, black, uh, for the backboard, but I don't, just don't think I know how to get it. So that, that bank shot is really important. Again, those angles, and trying to use this uh, rectangle as a target is super important. And if you're six foot six on a basketball team, you're more likely to make a three-point shot, too, if you use a 52-degree angle. That's all the research that's happening. It's really incredible. All and the, the math in, in basketball. So the kids who like to play basketball, you're learning something well, every you're day. You're learning. Yep, you can go outside and play. That was And if uh, you don't want to practice all of your math and angles using <gasps> bank shots, you want to try and spin the ball on your finger? No. We're going to use some extra um, Do you, Is there a secret? There is. So okay. looking for the, um, like, if you spin it on the ground, and there's sort of this circle, uh -huh. we're trying to get our finger into that middle spot and then okay. give it a spin. Let's see if we can get it here ready. ready and just give it a good spin. Nope, not <laughs> even I close. Can. I don't think I've ever done this so before. Spin it and toss it. It's the same principle as, say, a top oh! spin. Yeah, that spinning momentum keeps it stabilized before uh, gravity and air pressure start acting on the ball and making it fall. Um, so really, those uh, pros are just really good at spinning. <laughs> Keeping it going. And knocking them go. all out of each other's hands. Yeah, I'm wacky. I'm a fool of myself. How can people uh, find out more about this? Always at azscience.org to find out ours. But down at the Science Center, we've got this and so much more. 363 days a year. This is the good one. This yeah. is the good one. That's